Leno Saputo published his autobiography last fall. He tells how he transformed a small family cheese business into a multinational empire. He also dismisses past allegations of ties to organized crime, just like in this interview we aired 12 years ago. Jamais, soit de près ou de loin, la mafia était associée avec Saputo. But enquête reporter Gaetan Pouliot uncovered documents used by the New York State Department of Agriculture in the 80s. It turned down Lino Saputo's request for a milk dealer's license. Its decision was based on ties between Saputo and Joe Bonanno. He was the longtime head of the mafia in the United States. His address is 255. And Retired Arizona police officer Gene Emmon was a key witness in the New York State case. He showed us where Joe Bonanno used to live. For more than three years in the 70s, he would take Bonanno's garbage and search it. We learned by both studying him and watching him that he was the most powerful mafioso in the United States and had specific influence, we learned, in Canada. In the trash, police found ripped up notes. They stuck them together and found the name Lino several times. Police found out later they referred to Lino Saputo. And we eventually found, through picking up the notes, that he had a hidden financial interest in Saputo cheese. And that was a, a secret interest that was held away from the public. In Bonanno's garbage, Police also found Saputo Company financial records and proof of a cash transfer to Joe Bonanno. In 1980, the retired judge who turned down Lino Saputo's New York State license request wrote, Joseph Bonanno has had significant economic and transactional involvement over a substantial period of years with several Canadian cheese companies owned by the members of the Saputo family and by Lino Saputo in particular. All of this contradicts what Quebec's richest man wrote in his autobiography. Leno Saputo refused our request for an interview. However, in a written statement, his lawyer told CBC Mr. Saputo has never had, either directly or indirectly, any connection to organized crime. Marie-Maude Denis, CBC News, Montreal.